Question, the member from Simcoe Gray. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. My question is uh, for the Premier. Uh, two weeks ago, my constituent, uh, Mrs. Karen Rukas, uh, wrote to me to voice her uh, frustration over excessive fees and charges on her hydro bill. And let me just summarize her bill for you. Hydro usage, $179.58. Total cost of her bill, $512.20. Mrs. Rukas explains that the that a whopping that of the uh, whopping $512 total cost of her bill, 309 of it is government fees. That's Mr. Speaker, that's 60 per cent of her bill in fees alone. Wow. Mrs. Rukas describes these hydro fees as, quote, a terrible scam on the people of Ontario, end of quote. And she finds it uh, atro <coughs> atrocious that she's being charged taxes piled on top of taxes. Question. So, Mr. Speaker, Mrs. Rukas would like to know Will residents of Ontario be reimbursed for what she and many people call outrageous overcharges? Thank you. Minister of Energy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank the honourable member for that question because he does uh, bring forward a good point in which uh, you know many folks in this province are having a difficult time, Mr. Speaker, paying their hydro bills, and that's why in our speech from the throne, Mr. Speaker, we brought forward many uh, many programs, Mr. Speaker, to help families and to help individuals like that, Mr. Speaker. Um, come January 1st, there will be an 8% reduction on those bills and if that individual is actually in one of the rural or remote communities mr. speaker she'll actually see a 20% reduction mr. speaker and on top of that I hope the honorable member is also talking to her about the OESP program mr. speaker because that is a benefit mr. speaker that many families and many individuals can qualify for mr. speaker if this is a senior and if they actually heat their home with electricity mr. speaker they can get up to $75 a month on top of that mr. speaker that's a significant reduction to help excuse me mr. Mr. Speaker, to help families that are actually having a difficult time. So for me, Mr. Speaker, I do hope that uh, he is encouraging them to look at the programs, work with the LDC to make sure that they Thank can you. get the benefits to help them reduce their bill, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, back to the Premier. Uh, Premier, the, uh, Mrs. Rukas isn't the only person worried about her hydro bill. Earlier this fall, Mr. Con Mr. my constituent, Mr. Richard Wiles of Collingwood, wrote to me to voice his intense frustration over the high cost of electricity in this province. And Mr. Wiles told me that provincial, taking the provincial sales tax off of hydro bills is a joke, in his opinion. Too little, too late is what he said. And Mr. Wiles also noted that it's not Chief right that to pay huge delivery charges at the cottage when they're not there in the winter months. And so, Premier, my constituent, my constituents, our constituents on all sides of the House really want to know Rather than rebate programs and all that, yeah. what are you actually doing yes. to get the system back on track? Absolutely. What are you actually doing to fix Question. the problem over there? Sure. That's what they want to know. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, what we've done, Mr. Speaker, is fix the system that they left, Mr. Speaker, in tatters. In tatters, Mr. Speaker. We had to build 15,000 kilometres, Mr. Speaker, of lines to ensure families actually get power, Mr. Speaker. We've ensured that we've built a system that is safe and reliable, Mr. Speaker, that doesn't have rolling brownouts or blackouts, Mr. Speaker, that actually affect our overall economy and put all families in this province in the black, Mr. Speaker. We've made sure that we've invested in programs and systems that have a clean, reliable system. We no longer have to send out warnings, Mr. Speaker, telling Ontarians that they don't have to you know, go outside and worry about breathing. We've eliminated coal, Mr. Speaker. We've made sure that we've got a clean, reliable system for all families, something that that government, when they were in power, Mr. Speaker, they kept kicking this issue to the curb. We acted and made sure that we've made a difference for this province, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Thank you very